Hey y'all, welcome back to the studio. Today I am going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to make these thousand dollar Ugg boots for $42. Let's get into it. Here's your material list. I got my Ugg dupes from Shein. They are super high platforms and you could easily trip. So I also included an option for the girlies that wanna be a little bit safer. Then I found out Fashion Nova also had a platform Ugg dupe for only $20 and they have half sizes. They also have a churro Ugg dupe, but I think mine are a little bit cuter. I have linked everything below for your DIY project. Before making your first cut, you want to figure out how much fabric you'll need to drape around your Ugg boot. To figure this out, I tucked my fabric inside the boot, giving myself plenty of excess inside and plenty hanging down on the outside of the boot. My first cut was about 13 inches high, and I trimmed down from there to make sure my fabric never looked too short. Drape your fabric around the boot again, and make sure to give yourself a little bit of excess on the first cut. Once you love how it's draped, line it up and cut for your final seam line. Do one more final check before sewing. You want to make sure you have plenty of fabric on all sides after your fabric is all tucked in. Then flip your fabric inside out so your seam line will be hidden. Line your edges up and you're ready to sew. Thread your needle and make several knots with your thread like this. Sew along the edges just like this. And every few stitches add a knot to make it a little bit more secure. Once you finish the entire seam, tie several knots to make sure it's very secure. Once you're done sewing, check to make sure your seam is sturdy. Then flip your fabric again so your stitches are hidden and drape it back over the boot. I cut this little piece on the back off before sewing so it would lay down flat. Thread the needle through the fabric and the boot from the inside of the boot outwards, just like this. At this point, you only want to sew the fabric that's tucked on the inside of the boot so you have access to create a seam line all the way around the boot like this. Once again, I added knots for extra support and your stitching should look something like this. I'm a self-taught seamstress girly, but it's most similar to a running stitch with some added knots for support. Cut the excess fabric inside the boot so it's nice and comfortable when you're wearing your booties. I also added some extra stitching to the top layer to achieve that slouchy look. For this part, I did one stitch at a time in specific areas to achieve the look I wanted. Make sure to start each stitch from the inside out so your knots are never showing. Oh, and one more tip, wearing a glove can help give you a better grip on the needle because you are going through super thick, fluffy material and it can be difficult to do with just your hands. I tied a knot in between each stitch to avoid seeing any seam lines. You can avoid some of this by picking a thread color that's a lot closer to your fabric color. When you're done, Sewing, tie off your knots to keep it secure and then cut the excess. Another tip when you start your second booty, make sure you are matching up the lengths as you sew, checking each side as you go. I definitely recommend giving yourself a little excess to play with because mine are not perfectly even. <laughs> This is my full project breakdown. Now, if you don't have any of these tools or materials on hand, your total would come to $52.22. But like I said, you don't necessarily need the ruler or the fabric chalk, so $42.22 is your all-in budget. This project only took me a few hours and that included not knowing what I was doing at first and stopping to film. So let me know in the comments if you decide to make this. I highly recommend them. I think they're so cute and easy to make. That's it, $1,000 Uggs for $42. What should we make next? 